Gina Paul is here. Today I'm going to show you a wonderful way to open up the muscles of your chest and make your whole upper body feel a lot better. It's good if you have a foam roller that is on the long side. If you don't have one that's this long though, you can always use a partial length one and you can add a yoga block or some pillows to support your head. So if you do have the longer one, you can go ahead and lay on your back on it. And you're gonna want your head supported as well as your pelvis supported. So like I was saying, if you don't have the long roller, you can do a shorter roller and just make sure that your head is supported and that your hips are supported too. From here, we're going to move the arms straight out to the sides. And it depending upon how your back is, if you have your ribs lifting up like that, you might need to tighten your abs in order to keep your ribs more flat so that we can isolate the chest muscles a little bit better. But if you're able to just relax on the floor and you feel the stretch across the chest and you don't feel any pain or pressure in your back, then you probably don't have to worry about that. We're going to stay here for about 60 seconds, making sure that you're not holding your breath. The other thing I tend to see is people will usually let their arms be up higher. So just take a peek and make sure that they're coming straight up from your shoulders and they're not way up here or way down here. All right, so that's your foam roller chest opener. 